All right, Terrence, we're going to check back in with you all morning long. More now on that breaking news out of Solon. Police are telling Michael Baldwin that one person is dead after an overnight shooting. Now, officials have just left the area. Michael has been talking with him. He joins us live. And, Michael, you just got some brand new details about what's going on out there. Well, Mike, uh, first of all, the uh, source says that the suspect was shot in the head, and we also uh, are hearing that the officer was grazed in the arm. As you mentioned, this was the scene behind me. It's all clear now, and the roads seem to be open up. Uh, we saw three cars towed away. One appears to be the suspect's car. It appeared to be a Buick LeSabre. The other two were police cruisers. Now, one thing I want you to notice is one of the police cruisers looked like it had about seven bullet holes through the windshield. Now, we don't know if that was an officer firing out or if a suspect firing at the police cruise. Now, as you mentioned, this all started last night around 9.45 when police attempted to pull over a car in a traffic stop. The suspect took off in his vehicle and turned on Sunnywood Drive where he crashed and officers tried to talk with the suspect when police say that he opened fire. So still so many questions this morning. Why was the suspect pull over and how many shots were fired and what are the extent of the injuries to that officer? These are answers we are expected to get answered later on today. For now, we are live in Solon. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. All right, Michael, thank you. want to let everybody know that if you have to go to work or school, our breaking news coverage continues on Newsnet5.com, so you can check that out. Michael, thanks.